Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Advanced Microeconomics Lecture 10 Last in the last lecture we were discussing trade that uh, was occurring into the Edgeworth uh, box and uh, today we are going to discuss pre to efficient allocations and uh, in Edgeworth box you discuss the equilibrium point A and uh, on equilibrium point we study that no one can be made matter better off without uh, second one or second equilibrium or second party worse off it means only one person will be in the better condition and second person will be in the worse condition so such allegation in a case where one person is in the better condition and second person is the first condition such type of situation or a case is called Pareto efficient allocation Pareto efficient allocation what is the Pareto efficient allocation means one person is in the better condition and second person is in the worse condition and uh, this Pareto efficient allocation can be further described into the four main points what will be the first as i uh, describe you that one will be in the, in the better condition and second one is in the worst condition so no one can be made better off second all gains from uh, the edgeworth box when trade happens so trade or uh, gains from trade are exhausted why they are exhausted because in different curves um, are tangent to each other means one is uh, wh whatsoever one is giving to another that second person is losing that and uh, with no one can be make into the better condition because uh, some or sec other person is facing the pre, uh, lo uh, facing the loss or losing the community for giving the first one same community so first person have to make the better of with uh, making the second person worse off so it's the tangency point as uh, you see into the edgeworth box in different curves like this when both the indifference curves get tangent that we get the equilibrium point so this is the actually tangency point tangency point which we obtained and uh, we can describe it as utility of one agent can be achieved by uh, reducing the utility of an other agent fourth one we can call fourth one fourth one we can call mutually mutually advantageous trade because uh, mm, you allocate equilibrium to the agents and uh, there will be unilateral negotiations for the arrangements that both will have to make the trade in such a pattern that lead them and uh, for obtaining the possible equilibrium within their indifference curves map range and uh, what will be the peritio set or contract curve in uh, or that range in which both the person a and b will get the equilibrium actually you can define a uh, peritio efficient point such a point which is a unique point and uh, there are infinite number of points and the set of set of such a points the set of such a points is called pretio set you have to remember this that uh, the points between these uh, two persons on in the word box and the set of such a points is called a pretio set or it is called a contract curve so we can say that this curve will stretch from A's origin to origin B. And uh, what is the Pareto set or the contract curves? And what is describes? Actually, is describe the possible 
outcomes possible outcomes of mutually advantageous trade from anywhere in the adverse box and uh, pretty sets and which pretty efficient allocation is going to happen between within between the two persons and show the initial endowments and show the contract curve how it uh, interact between the two persons for making the best possible condition so it uh, depend upon their how much uh, mm, community are good one and uh, the person two having the good uh, community of good two which we can call the initial endowments so it actually it's all depend upon the initial endowment which both the persons already has so in this diagram again we can describe our previous concept actually person b and person a uh, this is the origin of person b and mm, from this side we can see the indifference map for the person b and from this region we can see the indifference map for the person a uh, this was the same case which we already have discussed in edgeworth box and trade and this is actually this is actually the equilibrium point at which both the curves for person a and person b are tangent and uh, this is the endowment point this is the endowment point which already both the persons are having before the exchange of the good one and good two and when you you call it from this side this is for person one and when you call from this side this is for person b mean from this side good one is far from the person a side and the good two from the person b side and for person a side it is good two vertical axis and the good one horizontal axis while for person b from downward sloping this side and good one and from this side it will be the good two so it will be the case in which we can see how the equilibrium takes place between the two person and this is the possible equilibrium point it's all about today and uh, it's uh, the important concept of the edgeworth box which is pretty to efficient allocation um, and uh, this uh, concepts actually leads to show the situation that uh, when there is no producer and both the consumer are going on to take the trade between themselves it is only the point on which one will be the better of and second one will be the worse of and in case of any confusion discuss in the comment bar see you in next lecture allah peace